All right, this video is specifically for one of my viewers that made a comment on um, the Jeep Liberty lights that I installed on my Explorer. They're doing a similar project on a vehicle of their own. I think he said a Baja. So for Luke Parker 1638, Luke Parker 1638, this is for you, buddy, and everyone else who has a question just like yours, which is why I'm making this video. So he wondered, how long is this? I'm gonna give you the length, and I'm gonna give you the thickness and some extra details if you want to apply this on your vehicle. Let's get right at it. I'm gonna start off, I don't have my helper today, so I'm just gonna set it in place. I'm measuring from this corner here, as you see, if I'm looking at it straight, it kind of curves in and then sways back out. So from this corner, going around to the other side, we've got about 45 and a half inches. See where that mark is? 45 and a half inches is your best placement on that. 45 and a half inches. Like I said, there's a little curve on it. So we're gonna measure from the back end to the front end. And now on the edge itself, we're looking at just on seven inches. If you really look at it, it's more like the seven inches. Even though I'm right on the edge here, it looks like six and three quarter but I'm gonna call it seven because of the dip of the curve in the front. Make sense? All right, so we're looking at, what is that? 45 and a half by about seven. Now, I'm gonna to try to hold this straight. It pretty much is flat. There's only a very slight curvature in it. Very slight. Works fine on a flat surface, okay? My roof has a natural curve, I'm assuming, to it, and it just so happens that it fit. Now, also keep in mind, this is a cover. Underneath is the base. The base is a lot smaller. The cover is what we're wanting to measure it with, and the cover is slightly flexible for this hard plastic, so hopefully that'll adopt well. Also remember, inside the lights from watching my other video, there's a screw to adjust the light angle. So hopefully with your roof design, because on an actual Liberty, it's more down and more kind of like an angle like this, shall we say, instead of flat, it's more like that on the Liberty because it's right at the windshield line. So these lights would be pointing at more of an upward angle of the base, which is why when I put this first on, because mine is more flat than the original Liberty mounting, my lights when I turned them on were pointing way up high. So. I do the adjustment screw and it angles it down and covers the road instead of just the trees. All right, Luke Parker and everyone else who has an interest in doing these Jeep Liberty setups on their vehicle, hope that answers you guys' questions. 45 and a half by about seven. Oh, you know what, while we're here, why don't we do it? Height. I'd say that's what? Five and a half? Yeah? Five and a half height. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. 